And welcome back to another episode of Reproducing Caden Cashmere's The Sweetest Goodbye. I'm Stevie O, and this is Mystical Lady Productions. And today we're going to cover my favorite lead guitars. with some ideas of writing the lead guitar part for the very, very end, you know, for the vocal. I don't want it to be too crazy, too outlandish, you know, um, maybe towards the very, very end. Where as it really fades out and gets towards the very, very tail of the fade, it could kind of, it could kind of go off, you know, on a tangent a little bit. But I was thinking of maybe of a dueling guitars kind of thing, part left, part right, and you know, just, just bends and swells. And alternating with, with another maybe harmonized kind of version of that. One starts with... And then maybe towards the end, you know, having it do some wild runs or something. I'm not, I'm not sure. Still working on it. Not sure if I'm going to do some of that kind of stuff in it towards the end or not. Little things I'm going to experiment and um, we'll see how it comes along. We'll get it. Now, what I may, what I may end up doing is just... I've done this with other recordings. I've done um, write it and record it as I go, you know, and if, if I like it, keep it. And if not, do a measure or two at a time, go back, do an overlay to it, you know, because I'm thinking of having this dueling thing going back and forth. So um, put a measure or two of a track, stop, go back, do the other guitar part, see how they sound together, continue, you know, do the next one or two measures. But I kind of want it to, um, those bends and swells early on, and then as the song fades out, you know, show, show a little more speed and, on the lead guitar. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a, a, a dummy take here just to show you. Uh, I'm going to actually record. <laughs> Some ideas for the second part. Show you what I got. Hey, this is Stevie O. If you are enjoying this content, if you're into this kind of thing, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and all that jazz. Would really appreciate the love. We'll see you in the next video. And I would continue on from there. I don't know if I'll continue with that track I just left off with or go back to the first track and uh, see what my chops got for this next part. Can I actually do a third and a fourth track? Fading out. I don't know if I like it or not. Let's 
Right, the kind of idea is this. Um... <laughs> Let's try it again with the track. By that time, it's faded out. Let's check it out. And this is the beauty of recording, because you could keep what you like it and you could chop off what you don't and retake it. And the other half of that sucked, so I chopped it off um, and retake it or even try something different. All right, something interesting I decided to do on that on that uh, on that last section work on Instead of harmonizing it all the way down, uh, I decided to harmonize here. And instead of continuing to go down, I'm going to go up an octave. So it'll be something like that. Check it out together. And then I'm going to... Uh, oh, and the, uh, the harmony for the... is going to be something like... Something to that effect. Let's give it a shot. You gotta hit the note, Steve. You gotta hit it. Shits and giggles. Let's see if it works. Alright, I, I think instead of instead of it gonna I think I want it to just keep keep rolling through, you know, so let's see what happens. I'm I'm just just playing what I feel now. Okay, so we're looking at these last two tracks down here, these two representing the last two guitar tracks that I've done. Let's take a quick listen. What I've got in mind is for that last piece of lead that I just did, where it starts ripping off into some shred Villeness. New word of the month. Shredvilleness. I'm gonna have it fade out. It's not gonna like be a continuous thing that rings and rings. I'm gonna have it fade out with the song. Let me show you just uh, what we got with these last two parts and then I'll string it all together, sh show you what I mean. Alrighty then, and then string in with the music, and uh, just like I talked about in the very, very first video that I did, how I want the vocal to fade out, and the lead guitars to come in, and then at the end, the lead guitar will fade out. This is what's happening.
there you have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this segment as much as I enjoyed playing it and doing it for you. Really appreciate you staying this long, hanging on. And once again, thank you to Warren Hewitt and his staff at Produce Like a Pro. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.